So I've got these two. I've got an expression for AF, an expression for BF. I should put that down here. Bless you. Um, and you can see what this gives us is every measurement in this bottom triangle, the ground triangle. Does that make sense? That's this A, B, F that I've got here. It's right angled. I have all three sides. What piece of knowledge should I call on? Right angled triangle, thinking right. of lengths. This is Pythagoras, right? Thank you. So I'm going to say in triangle A, B, F, because again, I'm now thinking of a different triangle to state this in. I'm just going to go ahead and state Pythagoras, right? Let's see, which one's the hypotenuse? Have a look. 15. It's the 15 in mine, and you'd obviously use your own length for yours. So I'm going to have uh, whatever squared plus whatever squared equals that hypotenuse squared, 15 squared. H, H. H squared cot squared, so this is what I'm going to put into my calculator, like so. Yeah, we are going to have to put it in, but thankfully we're not going to do most of the grunt work. The calculator is going to do that. Um, plus h squared cot squared 31, and that's equal to, that's the a squared, that's the b squared, and then c squared. Here's my hypotenuse. Didn't leave myself enough space, but I should say the reason. So how come the 44 is not squared? Ah, that's a good question. Can anyone help out Serene? Why is the 44, the angle there, why is that not squared? Why not do 44 degrees squared? Why oh, wouldn't I touch that thing? Yeah, I'm kind of squaring already this whole, whoop, where have I written it? Here's the whole length, right? This whole piece. So in fact, it's this entire object, all is one that I'm squaring. The angle there, I want that still to be 44 degrees. Uh, what is 44 squared? Like 1768 or something? I have no idea what it is, right? But that angle, that angle doesn't need to change. The angle is fine. Just leave it, don't square that. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, uh, I want, what was the thing I was after? What am I actually trying to work out? I want the height of the flagpole, right? So you're going to want H to be the subject. So I'm going to divide, uh, or I'm going to factorize rather, take that H squared out of here. Cot squared 44, cot squared 31. I'm going to leave that as 15 squared. You'll see why in about 30 seconds. Divide through to get h squared on its own. <coughs> and I know this looks a bit gross, however, really the calculator is going to be doing all the heavy lifting for us. Okay? Uh, why do you think I left that 15 squared as 15 squared rather than saying 225? Have a look. What am I going to do on the next line? Yeah, I'm going to take the square root because I'm like, I don't want h squared, I just want h. So on my final line here, or second to final, before I actually chuck it into the calculator. Uh, yeah, it's, it's on the top here. So I've divided both sides by this awful gross mess here. All right? So I've just divided this by this, and I've divided this by the same thing, which is why it no longer appears on the left-hand side. Good question. All right, let's finish off this uh, gross-looking fraction here. Now, just be really careful as you input this into your calculator. Um, there's a lot of little terms there. You don't have a cot button on your calculator, unfortunately, so you are going to have to do one on, etc. Um, something you might find handy is you can store variables in your calculator. Have we showed you how to do this yet? Have you seen how to do it? Do you need a hand? Store, okay, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can store variables in your calculator. So, so now can I borrow yours, actually? Is that all right? Thank you. No, that's, that's statistics. Oh, by the way, here's my working. Stay, stay, stay. There we go. That's exactly what we just looked at, but I'm going to switch over in a second. Okay, here we go. All right, so can you see that? All right, now, on mine, uh, a value that I was using was 10, sorry, cot 44. Right, that's what I actually wanted, but it's really awkward. You've got to have brackets on brackets on fractions on square roots. It's quite gross, right? So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to say, just calculate, and we're in radians at the moment, so I'm just going to switch that over. Shift, set up. Let's make sure we're all in degrees. Press 3. Um, I'm going to calculate 1 on 10, 44. See that? That number there, that's cot 44. And I'm going to use this number later on. So once you've got it in the display, you've hit equals, okay? What you want to go for is, see this button, RCL, does anyone know what it stands for? 
It's very close. Uh, RCL stands for recall. So if I store a value, I can recall it. I can find out what it is. But just above it, it's quite hard to see on here. Look, it's STO for store, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Shift, store. Let's press that right now. Shift, store. Uh, you'll know you did it right because the STO is highlighted up the top. Now, did you notice just on all these little, um, little buttons here, you've got those red letters, right? So that's what they're for. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M. What should we call it? Let's call it X. So just tap on that button with the X on it. Do we do shift X? Okay. So just once you've done shift store, you just press uh, that button there. It's the, it's the bracket, right? Now, if you did it right, do you see what the display is saying? Whatever answer you just got, it's now X, right? That 1.03, etc. Okay. So remember how I said recall is this button here. If you forgot what you stored in there, you can just say recall X. Well, I pressed the wrong button, sorry. I'm upside down. <coughs> Recall X. Is that better? Bam. There you go. Okay. So now when I'm putting this into my calculator, I can instead of saying one on blah, 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 I can just say, for instance, what did I have on the top? I think I had 15 on, what did I have here? The square root. Where's the square button? It's really hard to see upside down. There we go. And to get to X, I have to press alpha. X squared. I need the rest of it. It's not finished because that's only one of the cots. I need the other cot as well. But that will just make it easier to input and less chance of screwing up your brackets. Okay. Now you've got your own measurements. Here's what I want you to do. Um, instead of having a look at my numbers, which look like this, that's, that's the distance I got at the bottom here just by putting my numbers in, but they were fabricated. You have actual measurements, okay? So can you have a look, cross-check it against the people beside you and see how accurate you got your measurement. There you go.